We are here on our Wellness Wednesday to talk about core strength. And I think a lot of people have a misconception about what our core is. And so uh, Robin and I are very, very, very aware of what our core is because we've both been fitness instructors for a collective over 60 years, I think. <laughs> if you, if you I know. Years of teaching Every year together. we say that, it gets to be bigger and bigger. I know, right? So, um, and if you think your core is just your abs, you'd be only, you'd be wrong because it's more than our abs. It's actually our back. It's our hips. So it is our abs, but it's that whole rectangular box from our rib cage down to our hips, our butt, our butt muscles. And so um, it's very, so important to have a strong core for many reasons. Um, mainly it is our, it is our foundation. And so when I tell my classes that too, I said, you've got to have a strong foundation in order to be able to properly do other moves, like when strength moves. And so, um, and probably Robin, you've said, said the same thing to your class, I'm sure. Yep. And yep. So why do we want a strong core? There's many reasons. It helps us with function, obviously. It helps with the, helps us with stability, um, actually injury prevention. Um, also reduce back pain. So if you're having back pain that, you know, a weak core can be part of that. Um, it also helps with improved posture. And I want to talk a little bit more about that. I see and kind of study older people, how they move, how they act. And so I want to say 99% of them do not stand up straight, do not have a strong core um, are, are very, you know, bit hunched over. And a lot of that is due to a poor core. And I used to teach a, a seated class at a, uh, independent living home. And, um, we would sit there and I, I say, get everybody st sit up tall. And they would like for three seconds. And then when we started moving again, you know, they just like slumped Lost down. It. <laughs> it was like, it was so yep. noticeable. And I was like, no matter how much I said, sit up tall, shoulders back, you know, it, it, they always end up slumping, slumping forward. And, I, and so anyway, it's just something I noticed, but also generates power. Our foundation, having a strong core gives us so much, uh, that's where our power source comes from as well. So um, I know Robin is going to talk about how, what we can do to strengthen our core. And there's a lot of things we can do. And I'll add on to that as well. So Robin, you want to share what you, we can do? Good. Yep. So it's funny that you say that, and, you know, you watch them in the class and when we teach, we see things, but we also hear things. And I think a lot of times people think core, they think crunches. Let's do some crunches. Like yeah. that's what core was in the old days. We kind of related it that way, but it's mm -hmm. really not anymore. Um, I use a lot of uh, BOSU ball in my class. And if people oh. are not familiar with what a BOSU is, it's a half ball that you do all kinds of exercises on. And I have anywhere, I have from ages 30 to 75 in my classes because I work at a rec center. So I see a wide range of people. And in the summertime, I'll even have like college students in my classes too. So, but it's funny, I had somebody come up to me the other day and he said, oh, Robin, when we use those stability balls, they can kind of scare me a little bit. He said, I have a really tough time with that. And I said, well, you know what that's telling you, don't you? And he said, what? And I said, you need to use it more often <laughs> because yeah. it, it is the more familiar you get with, you know, the struggle of being on a BOSU, the better you're going to get at it. I mean, they use BOSU balls for recovery from ankle surgeries and, you know, knee surgeries and things like that in physical therapy. So it's definitely a tool that can be used for balance. And I, I do use it a lot. I use it a lot. Um, <clears throat> another thing I use are stability balls. So those are the full round mm -hmm. balls that you can sit on. And listen, if you have one at home and if you sit at a desk, use it at mm -hmm. your desk. Don't use a chair. If you feel like your, your core foundation is suffering a little bit, um, use one of those because it will strengthen you. Um, another thing that I think people don't think of a lot is just standing on one foot, mm. like do it at home. In my classes, if we're not using a, a, a BOSU ball, I will make them, sometimes we'll do bicep curls and we'll stand on one foot. Well, exactly. 
same. Yeah. <laughs> and you should see them when I do that. They're like, oh my gosh, what is happening? Why am I losing my balance? Mm-hmm. And that's, you know, that's why. Why? Another thing too is like multi-joint exercises. They're going to, just like Kim said, your core is not just your, your abs, you know, it's your hips, it's mm-hmm. your legs, it's your lats. Mm-hmm. Um, when you do multi-joint function, like if you do a, a row with a leg extension, it's going to make your balance go off. So those multi-joint exercises are really good to do. Uh, Pilates is really good core. I mean, if y'all don't do Pilates, listen, I don't do Pilates a whole lot, but every time I sub a Pilates class, I come home and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to do that more often because I think you get so set with certain things that you do. So I teach yoga. So for me, a lot of the things in yoga are pretty easy for me because I do it all the time, right? The balancing and and whatever. So, but Mm -hmm. for someone who doesn't, that's a really good challenge is to keep that yoga going and get stronger and stronger. Another thing is Tai Chi. And a lot of people who are, I know it's a lot, people think of older people doing Tai Chi. Well, it's a good thing they're doing it because Mm -hmm. that flow and that energy pulling in and making you keep your balance is extremely um, helpful for that. And then the other thing I have is, is planks instead of crunches and things like that. Planks or are, are going to make you not only core, core balance, but core strong. Um, I want to go to one statistic that I have here that I looked up. If you cannot hold a core or a plank for more than 10 seconds at a time without shaking or wobbling, then it's good a good indication that you need to build a more stable foundation wow. um, through the development of your core muscles. And honestly, 10 seconds is not very long, but there mm. are going to be people who can't do it. And you don't have to hold like, I know people have seen it on like the man who held for 30 hours or whatever he held it for. It wasn't 30 yeah, hours, but I remember a long he way. had his knees off the floor. You can start out with a plank with your knees on the floor, yeah. right? So kind of like a uh, tabletop, but then you let your hips come down a little bit and try to pull that and do, you can do planks every single day. They're really good for um, your core strength. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to mention a lot of people, complain not a lot but some people complain about their wrists hurting when they're doing a straight arm plank and i always say come down on your yeah. forearms you want to line up your elbow under your shoulder shoulders and uh, elbows under your shoulders and do it that way that's actually harder on your core it's easier on your upper body but yeah. it's harder on your it's like harder on, <clears throat> excuse me harder on your core and um i would i was in a con a plank contest a few years ago and i was the oldest one in the contest and um, <laughs> I actually won the contest. I held it for five minutes. And so yes. beat out the young girls. But it was kind of funny because I was laughing at myself, laughing within myself that, you know, fitness pays off. <laughs> so doing all it those does. Courses, Absolutely. core things I've done, because I do a lot of different, a variety, like Robin said, it's not just doing uh, cr- crunches, but it's doing a variety of ab, ab and back exercises, the lower back is really important to work as well as the front. You always yeah. want to work opposing muscle groups, front and the back, biceps, triceps, shoulders, back, uh, back and chest, your, your uh, yep. core and your back extensors. So um, you want to have yep. a balanced, balanced body, balanced symmetry, which helps with so many things. And people neglect their core probably more than a lot more of than anything. Yeah. More than I anything. think you're right. I, yeah. And then I, the one other statistic that I want to give and like core, strong core, like all the things that Kim said, you know, it's healthy back and whatever balance. And I think I can't remember if we talked about this um, in with one of the other talks that we gave, but I just wanted to pull up this statistic again, because it's so shocking to me about um, balance as we age. And it said, according to the centers for disease control and prevention, more than one in four older adults report a fall each year. In 2021, 38,742 older adults age 65 and older died from preventable falls and nearly 2.9 million were treated in emergency departments. Guys, those are huge numbers. That's crazy. Um, so definitely don't, use the excuse. Cause I hear this a lot too. Cause I teach yoga and they're like, Oh, I can't do yoga. Cause I'm not flexible. 
that just doesn't <laughs> well, that's why you do there, yoga do yoga <laughs> right so do yoga not only for flexibility but for balance mm -hmm. Um, I can't do the BOSU ball because I'm going to fall off. Yes, you're probably going to fall off the first couple of times you do it. I can't, I don't like the stability ball because I feel unstable. Yes, <laughs> that's why it's called a stability Reason. ball. So just make yourself get on it. Do a little bit at a time. And, and I promise it'll get easier. I have, like, I'm telling you the 70 year olds in my class, they get on that BOSU now because I just keep making them. Cry, you know, hold on to the wall yep. if you need to at first. And, you know, yeah, there's baby things you can do. There's modifications yep. you can do to get used to it. And um, it, it's not that scary. It it may seem like it at first, but once you just take baby steps to it, um, it, it gets easier, and e like anything, it gets easier and easier. Yes, so, um, for sure. Yeah, but anyway, but thank you. I, I appreciate all your your suggestions about working the core, the best way to do it. And, um, and really just realizing the importance of keeping our core strong will keep you aging well, keep you aging young right. and not keep you alive, keep you alive. <laughs> exactly. Yes. For sure. So a lot to yes. it. So anyway, we want you to have fun and live young and we will see you next Wednesday. Take care. All right. Bye -bye. Have a great day.